Hello, my name is Cindy Jennings Millett. I'm Associate Director of Admissions at the Haas School of Business at UC Berkeley. I've been working there in admissions for 12 years. When international students are applying to the Berkeley MBA program or any MBA program, they're going to need to provide some documentation. First of all, for academic proficiency, you need to take a GMAT or a GRE, depending on the school. You need to take a TOEFL or an IELTS. Uh, you also need uh, some professional work experience. It depends on the program how many years of work experience, but what we're really looking at is the quality, not the quantity of work experience, so you'll want to talk to different schools about that. Uh, we also do have an interview component as well. Uh, there are a lot of different things that we look for outside of your professional experience, extracurricular involvement, other things that you've been doing. So for international students, um, what we would really like to see in professional experience is really uh, you, the quality of your experience, the career progression over time, so that you've been working on leadership, you've been working on teams. Um, I think it's really important to think about going outside your comfort zone and pursuing opportunities that you're going to be passionate about and that you're going to be able to provide those examples of where you've provided leadership and team skills. So it's really taking the initiative and making kind of an impact at your employer. Well, in looking at different professional experiences, let's say if you don't have any uh, professional experience just coming right out of undergraduate program, um, there are other things that you can do. Uh, it depends on the program. Some schools are going to be looking for at least a couple years of work experience to come into the program, while others may take students right after undergrad. So other opportunities that you could pursue would be internships, um, extracurricular involvement like different clubs, different activities where you can really take a leadership role. So one thing about the admissions process that's really important is that it is a very holistic process. So when we're looking at all of the different criteria that I was mentioning, including the GMAT score or the GRE, that's only one element of the entire application. So you could have a 760 on the GMAT, but still not be a strong candidate because there are all those other things that we're looking for as well. And also in looking at the GMAT or the GRE, we're really looking at your academic proficiency. So um, that's something that we're going to use to evaluate, but that can be balanced, for instance, with the GMAT or the GRE and your, uh, grad or your GPA or your academic proficiency. So it's important, but it's only one element of the puzzle. And if you have strengths in other areas, that can definitely accommodate, because there's not one perfect application. It's looking at all of these things together. When international students apply, there's some common mistakes that we see. First of all, in looking at the application process itself, um, we really want you to tell us what you think, not what you think we want to hear. That's a common mistake where students or applicants will talk about what they think would be impressive when in fact it's not very authentic or honest. So my best piece of advice is to really be honest through the process and when you're filling out the application and going through those essays, really be honest about what's important to you because that's really going to stand out in our view. Um, in the interview process, it's really important to prepare. Uh, be sure that you've looked through the program, you know who you're going to be interviewing with, uh, you have an idea of what questions you may want to ask during the interview, and you want to prepare very similar to a career interview. So you know who you're talking to, and you're able to talk about your experiences, know your story, why you want an MBA, why you want to go to that particular school. And similarly, when you're talking to admissions, uh, we, we talk to a lot of people and we really enjoy talking to prospective students. That's something we really like. But there is an element of time involved, and if you don't do your homework, we're going to be asking questions that may be on the website. So my best piece of advice is to really go to the website, investigate those, those schools that you're interested in, and then come up with some really good questions that you want to ask admissions officers. Uh, we often will refer to our students and alumni to get more information, and that's really a great way for you to come back and ask some questions that are really going to drive at what you really want to know outside of what you can really find out um, by looking at a lot of resources that we're going to provide for you. So I was able to talk 
to you a little bit about the application process and some tips for applying. I hope that if you're interested in applying to the Berkeley MBA program, you can visit our website at mba.haas.berkeley.edu. Again, I think my best piece of advice for you in the process is be yourself and be honest, because um, that's really going to come through, through in your application of being your authentic self, and it's going to make you stand out.